Hello, welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. We are back in Foundry VTT and we are looking at Fandelver and Below once more. In the last video, we talked about the fact that we need to get Fandelin sorted. And we played with getting the Stonehill Inn up and running. Um, I don't want to go on and do the rest of those bits at the moment. What I want to do in this video is have a look at our NPCs. So um, there's quite a few of them in town and I want the town to feel real. They come and go from this town repeatedly and assuming they go on to do chapters 5, 6, 7 and 8 of the Shattered Obelisk, they're going to be in and out of this town and I want them to build some relationships with these people so when things start to go wrong, they actually care. So that means I need to build my NPCs um, and you know put a bit of life into them. So rather than, oh, we visit there and we just talk about it. Now, we did say that we had created, or just find the right place. No, nope, Fandelva, thank you very much. Fandelin, thank you very much. Uh, we created the Stonehill Inn so they can come in here and I want them to get used to it. Um, you know, this is their place. We put lights on and stuff. But we haven't got any actors to put in here. We've got Sildar um, and we've got a couple of other people, but we have, we're have we missing most people. So what I want to do in this video is create our NPCs. It's quite easy to do. Um, I'm going to go to the SRD. Uh, I'm going to go to the content. We've got character features and things. We've also got monsters. But um, within monsters, we should just be able to find a human, right? Uh, I don't really want monsters. And it doesn't matter who we use for this. Oh, we could just look in the humanoid folder. Let's see what we've got in the humanoid folder. Uh, assassins, bandits, etc, etc. And again, it doesn't matter what we use because they're all going to be... I'm going to create one and then I'm just going to... Let's, let's use a thug. Let's use a thug. Let's drag him over, stick him over here at the moment. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, uh, da, 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 da. configure ownership and make sure that this is set as none the players can't access this person great i'm going to double left click um, and i'm going to call just call them commoner I'm going to have a default commoner here um, and i'm going to just set some of their traits and stuff just to make them normal okay normal people we don't want them to be ridiculously powerful and things like that um, have they got intimidation? Normal people don't have intimidation. Um, we're going to give them, what are we? Yeah, let's um, CR zero, okay? Uh, let's give them about six hit points, oops, uh, as normal. Um, features, they are not walking around with weapons and stuff. Generally speaking, these are peasants. We will have individuals that have stuff. So let's get rid of this. They're not wearing leather armor and things. Uh, spell books good no effects blah, 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 blah. so we've got ourselves a basic person here that we can then use as a template for all our npcs let's close the srd okay so i'm going to close this i've got my commoner so i now need to create i've been through the module and i've created a whole bunch of um i've been through and basically pulled out all of the npcs and a couple of videos ago we used uh we used uh, Mid Journey to create some pictures. So I've been through and I've done that. So I've created Anda and Carp, um, Edomath, Elmina, Elsa, everybody. I've basically been through and got AI to generate me a whole bunch of images for these NPCs that don't actually kind of exist. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to create them as NPCs. So I'm going to right click on my commoner. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to open this one. I'm going to click on here and I want to upload a new image from my computer for them. So I'm going to go into my NPCs. Uh, we might as well start with Ander. Okay, so this is going to be Ander. i get rid of the old one behind. Get rid of that one. Uh, and I'm going to bring Ander across like this. Put Ander behind. Um, let's move him about a bit. Zoom him in a bit. That's going to be Ander. All right, so we can just apply that. Uh, and there we go. Ooh, what I didn't do is I need to update Anders' name, don't I? Now, some of these don't have surnames. And if I was being really good, I would go through and create surnames for them. So there we go. We've got Ander now. Um, I'm going to duplicate again. Open this one up. I'm going to go to my next image. So modify. And again, this is um, tokenizer we're using here in case you've missed where we did that. 
Uh, I'm going to bring in carp alder leaf. Okay, so get rid of that. That's my carp alder leaf. Love it or hate it. Obviously, you know, don't generate images that you hate. <laughs> uh, and here's a halfling child. So we're going to stick him in there, which is good. And just make sure that uh, we've got his name. So he was carp alder leaf. Brilliant. Uh, and these guys should not be anywhere near combat and stuff. So I'm not too worried about um, their stats and things. If the players want to go around butchering these people, um, you've got bigger problems. <laughs> uh, who do we do next? We want to... So this is this is pretty much the video for this. But hang around towards the end. Oh, I didn't want to do that, did I? Hang around towards the end because uh, I've got a little gift for you. Uh, here we go. Slap you in here, get rid of that one, bring that one across, put it behind, reposition it, apply, change your name, just make sure I get this correct. Add a math. Done. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. So I can modify, upload an image. Who are we up to? We're up to Elmina. So there's mention in the module that um, Toblin, who runs the Stonehill Inn, it says he's got a wife, and then it <laughs> and then it uh, doesn't bother to actually mention her name or anything about her. So I've made her up completely, so that we actually have a wife, because guarantee somebody will want to speak to her. Um, and I think, you know, she's going to be in about the inn. So I want her to actually exist. Uh, oh no, so this is, sorry, I've got this wrong. This is this is the lady who runs Barthens Provisions. She She's in it, but there's no image or anything. So we've now got her. Apologies. We have got the same thing with, um, with the issue with uh, uh, Toblin in the Stonehill Inn. The fact that it doesn't exist. Get rid of that. Modify, upload. Who are we on next? We're on Elsa. So Elsa is a dwarf that hangs out at the Stonehill Inn um, and works there, except there's no kind of image or anything for her. Now, this is a bit of a shame because my picture doesn't. Oh, there we go. There we go. Fits inside the token. That will do very nicely. Thank you very much. And this was Elsa, wasn't it? Yeah. So all, they, all it says about Elsa is that she's a female dwarf called Elsa. No surname or anything. And she works in the tavern. So we've got her now. All right, duplicate. Next one. Next image for us. Click modify. Oh, bleh, don't do that. Bleh. Upload. And after Elsa, we've got Frida. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that one behind. Bring Frida over. Put it behind, thank you. Uh, and again, this is one that doesn't frame particularly nicely. That will do. That will do. There's Frida. Job done. So we're beginning to build these up. And you can see kind of how quick they are to do. They don't take very long. Um, but I think it makes a huge difference myself. Right. Uh, oh, okay. Next one. Next one. Bleah, stop doing that. Click the wrong button all the time. Uh, Greska. So Greska is the inn owner, or the at least the barkeep, at the place where the red brands hang out. Pop that behind. Zoom him in a bit. Here we go. He looks suitably gruff and grumpy, doesn't he? And let's make sure we change his name. Uh, get it right. Greska. Okay, brilliant. So we're building this up slowly here. Next, after Greska. Upload our image. It's We don't need to do Gundren. I'm not going to do... Um, I don't, did I do... Hang on a second. Did I do Harbin? I haven't got Harbin here yet, so let's do Harbin. The very snooty, pain in the backside, uh, self-appointed mayor. Well, he's not self-appointed, but he's a dick. <laughs> don't like him at all and he is and in fairness I don't particularly want my players to like him either <laughs> that's kind of the point 
Okay, so we've got Harbin in there. Duplicate again. Next one we want to do is modify. Uh, let's upload our new image. We've done Harbin. We're now on to Hilda. This is the one that I had to make up because there was no no mention of his wife beyond the fact that he's got one. And I thought, well, she's going to be hanging around, you know, possibly working in the kitchen, serving out front or whatever. Uh, and I've decided that actually she's a fair bit younger than him just to... Uh, I just generated AI, AI images, didn't want to spend forever doing it. That's kind of what we gave me, and I thought, oh, that's fine. We're, I'm happy to go with that. So Hilda Stonehill. Okay, so she's in, which is great. Uh, we got everybody from, no, nobody's going missing from here? I'm sure it's shrinking this as we go, isn't it? I keep thinking this list should be getting longer, and it doesn't appear to be getting longer. I'm not sure if it's just making the shrinking these to fit in or quite what i just keep looking over there and it's like i'm sure that list hasn't got any longer uh right who do we have after hilda we got hilia okay so we're going to do this again put that behind and this is hilia do we have a surname for hilia yes we do it is Hilia Thornton. Okay. Now, with any of these, of course, I can just drag them out and now I've got a token. Oh, it says thug. Ah. Okay. So, that's a good point, isn't it? I need to update these token names as well. Because I don't want them saying... <laughs> I, don't, I don't want them saying thug. Okay. Uh, oops. Uh, da, 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 configure ownership, right, uh, duplicate, thank you very much. So, next after Hilia. Upload, who's after Hilia? Lenar, who's a miner that's just randomly hanging out in the pub, apparently. But if you remember in the last video, I said that my problem with that is, is they don't live in the pub. You know, if he's supposed to be a miner, um, he's off doing stuff. He's not just sitting in the pub all the time. So I want them to encounter these people elsewhere. Okay, good. Ooh, no, what, what am I doing? Duplicate, thank you very much. So yeah, we're just creating NPCs. Uh, we've got Lano, we've done Lano. We've got Lenine. Get rid of the background image. There's Lenine. Bring Lenine over. We're going to zoom Lenin in, make sure she's behind the frame. There we go, that will do. Uh, I've forgotten how to spell her name. Scroll my other window down so I can see everybody properly. She is a Lenin Grey Wind. You can tell the important ones because they've got surnames. <laughs> it's a bit telling, isn't it? Uh, you know, Lenar bit of a throw away, you know, Greska a bit of a throw away, Frieda a bit of a throw away, and then you get ones that actually have proper names to them. Okay, so modify, upload. Apologies if you can hear a clacking noise in the background. One of my animals is having a big drink. There we go. And again, I mean, you know, I said about how important I think it is for um, for them to have NPCs and to bring the place alive. Um, that doesn't mean I want to spend the rest of my life creating, um, you know, creating NPCs in massive detail. I want to have enough tokens and things like that to make it um, interesting. And of course, any of these, we can go into their character sheets. I didn't want to do that. Go into their character sheets and we can give them notes and stuff on their characters. Uh, we don't need to do Black Spider. I want to do Pip. That's a cute photo. That's AI generated. Cute little photo. There we go. So, and I believe uh, I'll come back and check it if I need to. I think Pip might be um, Pip Stonehill. I think it was his. Um, but anyway, move on. Right, this one. Modify. Here we go. We've got 
our next one, a little halfling farmer. Bring her over, pop her back behind there. Easy peasy. Uh, what was your name? It's Quelleen Alderleaf. So she is the mother of uh, Cup. I'm glad I spelt Carp and not Crap. <laughs> it's an easy mistake to make, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay. This list feels like it's getting longer now, which is good. Right. <clears throat> so who have we got after this? We're getting towards the end now. Um, Radoth I'm not going to do because they're not actually based in the town. I do want Sister Gary Lee, our priestess at the Luck Shrine. That'll do nicely. Uh, and again, I want to make sure I spell this correctly. Gara. Excellent. Now, she's the kind of NPC, because she is a priest, she is going to have some abilities and things. So we might want to come back and edit her character a bit, just to give her some spells and things. Um, might be worth doing just to, you know, so she's there. If things go wrong, she is potentially somebody they could end up in a fight with, hopefully not, or being supported by, especially with spellcasting ability for saving their bacon if they get stuck with red brands and it doesn't go very well for them. Okay, we're getting near the end now. I promise. I promise we're getting near the end. Uh, we've got Thistle. you behind move it over here make sure that fits in the frame His name is thistle he's just a, a worker a helper out but anytime they've mentioned somebody want to put them in not long now uh, so yeah last one with toblin himself right at the end here there we go, that's my image for Toblin that I generate, or AI generated for me. Zoom him in a bit. There we go, he looks suitably gruff. But he's not actually particularly gruff. He seems like a perfectly reasonable chap. I mean, you run him however you want, of course. There we go, so Toblin Stonehill. We've now got him as well. So what I do need to do is I can just chuck these people out where they're supposed to be. Um, Hang on a minute. What happened there? Did I just throw out Ander? Ooh, got a problem. What did I do with Ant? Uh oh, what have I done? That's not Ander's token. Something went weird. I've botched up somewhere. Hang on, let's let's fix it. Get back to Ander. Thank you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Bring this over. Put you behind. Zoom you in a bit. Right, that's Ander. Good. Ander. Good. Drag Ander out. That's better. Wonder what that was about. Hmm. Okay. So I don't want to be called that. Let's change him to be Ander. Update token. Now, now when we drag him out, he should say Ander. Good. Right, Ander's working. Let's do carp. Oh dear. What did I do? I've done something bizarre. Tokenizer is not doing what I wanted it to do. I say that. I've not done something properly here. Did I do something like not save? Did I do something stupid like that? Did I just go close as opposed to apply? No, that's working. And again, I want to change this. Make sure I'm spelling his name correctly. Don't want to put the enemy's crap. Um, I'm going to get rid of this commoner. Don't need it anymore. It was just to get us started. Elder Math. Good. I'm glad you worked. Now again, it says thug. Elder Math. Good. So when we're hovering over them now, we're getting their proper names. Elmina, please have the right token. Yes, you do. Just 
got the wrong name. So it looks just looks like I did a, made a mistake with those first few there. Oh, Mina. Uh, Elsa. Brilliant. Oops. Double right click. Elsa. Elmina. Elsa. Good. You're not a thug, dear. Freed up. Well, you are a thug, but. <laughs> Greska. There we go. Uh, now, if I drag Greska out again, uh, it goes back to thug. Right, I'm wasting my time, aren't I? Wasting my time because uh, not configure ownership, character artwork, duplicate tokenizer. Pride token type image, just right. With him, if I do token, uh, what have I done? What, have I, what, what? I'm having a moment, a senior moment, very possibly. Prototype token. Uh, don't want to be called thug. I should be doing it through here, shouldn't I? Append, uh, no, right, okay, that should be fine. Right, now when I copy Greska out, Greska. Okay, when I do Ander, I get the right picture, it says Ander. When I do Carp, I get Thug. When I do Edamath, I get Thug, right. Prototype token, you are Carp. Thank you very much. Now drag out carp. I get carp. Okay, good. Right. Give it all these. We need to try. <laughs> Sorry. Prototype token. Don't say fuck. I need to do it through here. Remember, I make these mistakes so that you don't have to. Edamath. Correct. Well done. Uh, Elmina. You're a thug. Elmina, good. You should be fine now. Yep. Prototype token. That just means that every time it gets dragged out, it's using that prototype token information, which should be correct. Now, of course, it would have been quicker when I was doing the images and stuff to do this as I went. I didn't. I did Greska, yep, good. It's all gonna work. Yep. Harbin. As much as we dislike Harbin. I don't have a real thing for him, I don't like him. <laughs> I mean it's the way I play him, I guess, but Hilda. And you'll notice I'm not bothering with doing things like updating light and vision and stuff like that because uh, they're NPCs. Don't need to bother. Doesn't add anything. You know, even where we've got like elves with dark vision and stuff, then I'm not planning for them to be in combat. Um, and as the DM, I'd be able to see, and I, in that very unlikely occurrence, I can just manage that. Lenin. Yep, is it all going well now? I've sorted my life out. Uh, Narth. Pip. There you go, Pip. Oof. A little bit more to do. Nearly there. Quilleen. All good. Sister Garrelly. You're all good. Just two more to go. You'll be really pleased. <laughs> <laughs> Thistle. 
are all good. And the last one is Toblin. There we go. So they're all correct now. Good. That's all our NPCs. Brilliant. It didn't take too long. Uh, it took, actually took longer to generate them through AI and be a bit choosier who I wanted. So what we can do straight away as we're here, we can immediately stick Toblin in here behind the bar. Who else is here? Uh, Pip, he lives here. I'm fairly sure. I've checked the module. He's uh, Toblin's son. So I'm going to stick him in here. He can be helping out as a, uh, a bottle boy and things like that. Uh, who else is in here? We know Elsa works here. She's a dwarf. Um, and she helps out behind the bar. So we're going to stick her out here. Uh, and his wife is also here as well. Now, they do talk about the fact that Lenar is in the bar when they first come in. And who else was it? Uh, was it Elsa works here? I put Elsa out. All right. Uh, Carb's not here. Anders not here. Um, who was it? It was the Weaver. Uh, I put Hilt. Who's that? Elmina, you're not the wife, are you? I did that when we were setting them up. Elmina works here too, so we can stick her out. Um, but actually, we've got... Uh, where are you? Where are you, my dear? Um, Elmina... Uh, no, I keep getting them confused. Elmina is Barthen's provision. She's not <laughs> here. Uh, I think it's Frida who works here as well. Um, fairly sure she is. I want... Where have I done it? Hilda. Hilda, that's his, uh, that's the wife, um, the, the innkeep's wife. I mean, obviously, you know, there's no reason why she can't be the owner, of course. So I'm going to stick her in the kitchen. Now, we have put walls and stuff in, so when characters come in, they're not going to be able to see everybody. Um, I'm going to put you at that table there. You are the gnome weaver. Um, it's a very mixed company, this. We've got human miner, we've got a dwarf bar person, we've got um, uh, a, a gnome weaver. Uh, just kind of all hanging around it's like one of each <laughs> which is really yeah diversity it's just an odd odd town to have that much diversity i think but there we go so they're all in there Ooh, um and like i said we can absolutely any of these we can go in and we can add a bit on biography if we want to know you know want to add a bit about our when they talk to this person this is what they know now we can of course have that all in our journal um you know we can have it all in here we've got a dm note so elsa's in here so frida's in here uh, elsa's in here lanar is in here uh, narth is supposed to be in here as well allegedly again it depends what time of day where's Narth? there you are narth you be in here a miner and a farmer having some lunch uh, pips in here uh, and Toblin's in here. So it mentions his wife, but she's just not not anywhere else. Um, she's not in the rumours or anything like that at all. And I would suspect anything that they can get out of Toblin, they can probably get out of Hilda. Um, I just chose to call her Hilda. There's no mention of her name otherwise. There we go. So this scene's kind of set up. I can move things around. Of course I can. Um, if the players come in at like lunchtime, there's a good chance I'm going to remove half of these tokens. Um, you know, is Elsa going to be working all day, every day from breakfast to sundown? Probably not. She's probably only working in the busier times in the evenings. Um, Pip's probably going to be out playing somewhere during the day. Frida's going to be doing her job, uh, as is Narth and as is Lenar. So in the, you know, in the morning um, and lunchtime, it's probably going to be much quieter. Not many people in here at all. Might have one or two people who've popped in for lunch, but they could be people from the other places. Maybe uh, Elmina Barthen has popped in. All right, so I'm happy with that. Got this all sorted. Uh, so thank you if you've stuck around to the end of this. I just wanted to show you that as literally how we've done it. If you got to this point in the video, I'm going to put a link down into the comments where I'm going to um, provide you a copy of all of the images that I've used for these NPCs. So if you can't be bothered to generate your own, but you want to do something similar, uh, look in the description, go to the link. You can download a zip folder with the Fandolin residence in it. Uh, and it will have all of these images that you need to do what you like with. Replicate what I'm doing. Um, use some, don't use them. Use them in different adventures or whatever. But I've generated those images. They're generated through AI, so I don't need to worry about, you know, copyright or anything like that. I'm going to give them to you free to use.
Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.